Well, 150 more Border Patrol agents are heading to South Texas to deal with a surge in undocumented children coming across the border. A hundred more agents could be following them as the government struggles to respond to this crisis. Mark Betzel joined us now with an update on all of it. Lee Nolan, the Border Patrol's job is pretty simple. Secure the border. Now they have to do that, plus help all these children, raising serious concerns about a shortage of staff. Over the last eight months, roughly 52,000 undocumented children have come across the border, the highest percentage coming from Central America, not Mexico. And these kids aren't hiding. They're giving themselves up, asking for help, knowing that unlike children from Mexico, Federal agents can't just take these kids back across the border. They are instead escorted to one of a growing number of shelters and often put on a plane or bus to meet relatives far away, then told to later report to an immigration center, although many don't. Handling the children has stretched the Border Patrol thin, prompting both state and federal agencies to ask for help. At least two coastal bend facilities are currently housing these immigrant children, Boken Camp on Alameda and the former coastal bend youth city in Driscoll. Both used to house troubled teens, but are now among a growing list of properties contracted by the federal government to house these immigrant children. Farenthold told us last week the federal government is spending about a billion dollars a year to house and transfer these kids. But the government is getting help. Today, Catholic Charities here in town took badly needed supplies to the Rio Grande Valley. We made the trip as well. We'll have an inside look at the relief effort there tonight at 10. Jennifer. All right. We'll see you back here tonight, Bart.